So now let's go ahead and jump back to our unit tests and let's go ahead and create a test that we'll use to verify that we can get to an author page. So we'll create a new test method here. And remember, our tests are always going to be the way that we drive the creation of the framework because that's going to keep the framework as simple and usable as possible. So we're going to create a new test called can go to author page. And in this test, we're just going to do pages.homepage.go to to go to the home page. And then after that, we're going to say pages dot select author. And we're going to make it so we can pass in the author name. So let's go ahead and pass in Matt Milner here. And then we're going to do an assert. We're going to assert dot is true. And we're going to assert that pages dot home page dot is at author page. And let's make sure that this pages is pages dot home page for the select author because this should be off of our home page. So what we're basically going to try to do is go to the home page, select the author with this name that we pass in and then verify that we're at an author page and we should probably verify that we're at the author page we want to be at. So let's go ahead and put Matt Milner here. So now we're going to go ahead and implement this inside of our framework. So let's go ahead and create our select author first. So we're going to create a method here for selecting an author and this will be author name. And in order to select an author, we need to get that link. So let's look at that page again here. So on the main page here, we have this author's link. So if I right click here and inspect with Firebug, you can see that's just a link and it has the name authors. So that's a pretty easy way for us to get this. So now we're going to use a page object model to do this. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to create a variable that's going to hold that. So now if we create a variable here, so we'll create an I web element, we'll call this author link. And then we can decorate this with an attribute. We can say finds by, and we're going to say how equals how dot link text. And then we're going to say using the text authors, since that's the text that was on that link. Now, when we do this, if we use the page factory that's built into the Selenium support, then we can have it automatically go to the page and basically just the same way that we would select manually, it's going to select on this criteria and populate this field with it. So then we have the ability to just do author link dot click. So this simplifies things quite a bit here. So now in order to get that to work, we have to do something special here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pass our page through this page factory. So we're going to do a page factory dot init elements and we need the driver. So we need the underlying web driver. So let's make sure we can get that from the browser. So we'll say browser dot driver to expose that. And then we're going to pass in our home page. So now let's go ahead and implement browser driver real quick. And we're just going to make it so that this just returns that web driver. So we'll just do return web driver. And now you can see that what we're doing here is we're initializing our home page. We're passing it through this factory. This factory will look for any of these attributes we have and populate the elements on our page. And so now we have the ability to use this author link. Now, once we click this author link, let's go ahead and do that manually. You can see that we have all of our authors here and we have to select the particular one. So if I were to look at this one in Firebug, we can see that it's just another link here and the link name is the name of the author. Well, we can't really do that declaratively like we were able to do with the author link. So we'll have to do this part manually. So let's go ahead and do browser.driver. And then we're going to say find element. And we're going to do our by. We're going to say link text. 
and it will be equal to the author name. So this will give us our author. And then we're going to do an author dot click. So we're basically going to click the authors, then we're going to click that individual author. So now let's go back to our test. Now that we have that implemented, the next thing we need to do is to implement is at author page. So let's create this method. And this will take an author name. And the way that we're going to check this is we're going to create an author page to represent an author page, but it's going to be somewhat generic because it's going to be different for each author. So let's go ahead and see how we'll drive this part of the test. So let's say that we had an author page and we'll do a new author page. And we need to initialize this author page. We should be able to find the text automatically. So if we look at what we're doing here, if we were to click on an author, we want to look for this particular text here. And each author page is going to have that. If we click on a different author, we'd see that we have this text. So this is a good way to verify we're at the correct author page. So what we'll do is we'll use our page factory again. And this time we'll do init elements and we'll do browser.driver and we'll pass in our author page. And then now that we've initialized it, we should be able to do a return author page dot author name equals our author name. And this will be true if they match. We'll still have to implement this and we'll start off by implementing our author page. So now we have a new class here and we need this author name property. So we'll create a property for that. And this author name should return back the author's name. So let's create a private field here, do private. And this will be an iWeb element called author name. And we'll go ahead and return back the author name dot text. So we need a way to get this author name. So let's look back at our page. So if we look at this text here, we can do a inspect element with firebug. And it doesn't look like this is going to be something that's easy to get. We have it in a bunch of divs here. And so there's really not a very easy way to select this. We have a couple of options here. We've already looked at the X path. So let's go ahead and try the CSS path in this case. So I'm going to do a copy CSS path. And we'll go ahead and decorate this here. So we'll say finds by, and then we're going to do a how. And this time we're going to do CSS selector. And so we can do our using here. And then I'll paste what this gave us quite a bit here. We probably don't need all of this. We could probably find this just by this div overview h1. We don't need to be so specific. So let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of this. And we'll just look for it by div overview h1. So if we find it there, then if we return the text from it, it should be our author name. And we'll divide these pages out into some files. And so now in our framework, we're starting to get a collection of pages here, and we've got our main page. We might want to start organizing this at some point. But for now, let's just go ahead and go to our test, and let's make sure that our new test works. So I'm going to go ahead and run this test. And you can see we clicked the author, we went to the author page, and we're closing the browser and everything was successful.